Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's nice to see such a competent audience. And it's nice to uh, see that the organizers has uh, managed to uh, bring together representatives from the civil society, investors, and from uh, the authorities in the EU and the U US here in Björvika, Oslo. The topic for this meeting is certainly of relevance for politicians, regulators, representatives of the capital markets, and many others. Uh, I would therefore like to praise uh, Kommunalands Pensionskasse and uh, uh, publish what you pay for organizing this dialogue meeting. Part uh, one of today's meeting will focus on the status of financial reporting in the extractive industries in the EU uh, and uh, the US, as the initiatives uh, regarding country-by-country uh, -country reporting, CBC, uh, could have a significant impact on the future Norwegian requirements. It will be of interest to receive detailed information on the current development. In part two, invitees will discuss possible implementation in Norway. And the Ministry of Finance is looking forward to uh, receiving input on this issue. Deputy Director Alexander Beringer, Beringer will represent the Minister in the roundtable discussion in part two. And uh, the last legal report commissioned by um, uh, PWAP Norway and written by Anshin de Beersche uh, has uh, the Ministry sent on a hearing in the, financial, in the Norwegian Financial Supervisory Authority. The United States has passed legislation which will oblige listed oil and gas companies as well as mining companies to report country specific data. The US Securities Exchange Commission is currently preparing more detailed requirements. Expected entry into force of the rules in 2012. In Europe, the European Commission will outline its policy on CBC in the EU in a communication in September. Both the uh, US and the EU initiatives are of interest for Norway. The future US requirements will apply to Statoil, which is listed at the New York Stock Exchange. A future EU legislation would be of particular relevance more generally as such a legislative act probably will be of EEA relevance. Accordingly, Norway will be, will be obliged to implement rules in accordance with uh, the EU requirements. Norway is a large exporter of oil and gas, uh, and also a large investor through the government pension fund Norway has supported measures that could increase transparency in the extractive industries. For instance, Norway has implemented the Extractive Industry Transparency Initiative uh, as the first OECD uh, country. <coughs> and Norway is prepared to continue to be in the forefront. The Norwegian government is positive to rules that could increase transparency regarding money flows from multinational companies to foreign governments. By requiring multinational companies to break down their accounts to the countries where they operate, the civil society could more effectively hold governments accountable and thereby make sure that the entire population will profit from the revenues. Transparency with regard to money flows could also have impact as an anti-corruption measure and could help tackle and tax avoidance, not least for developing countries, but also for tax authorities in more advanced economies. We hope that CBC can be a useful instrument. Consequently, we support the concept of CBC reporting. However, it is important that such reporting requirements are on an international level. This is a precondition for effective implementation and would also ensure a level playing field for the companies concerned. In fact, the benefits will be greater and the costs will be lower. 
uh, the more countries that implement CBC reporting. Therefore, we favor common EU rules in this uh, area. However, taking into account the importance of this issue, we cannot rule out the possibility to implement such measures in Norway on an individual basis. Accordingly, in the Norwegian government's action uh, plan against economic crime, which was adopted in March this year, uh, the government states that it is open to consider impl implementation of such rules in Norway, either in relation to potential future EU legislation or on an individual basis. I note that the EU Internal Market Commissioner Michel Barnier has stated that the Commission will look closely at the competitive position of Europe-based companies and will measure the costs uh, that this policy would impose before making the final decisions. Furthermore, I have noted that several EU member states are reluctant to introduce uh, CBC reporting requirements on an EU level, but uh, favour international rules. International rules ensuring a level playing field also beyond the EU should, of course, be encouraged. However, as we often see, someone needs to take the first steps. And I believe that in the long term, an outcome of the EU assessment, which follow up, follows up the uh, US initiative, will be favourable also for EU stakeholders. Therefore, we are looking forward to the uh, Commission communication early autumn, and we look forward to the discussion, discussion here today. Again, uh, many thanks to uh, PWAP and uh, KLP for organising this event. I hope it will be a fruitful step towards our common goal, transparency, development and a fair distribution of economic gains. Thank you.